Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and back to monthly favourites. This February favourites is slightly late, I do apologise, but all the products are still brilliant and still well in use into March. Um, full disclaimer, as I have said before, I haven't filmed for a while, life has just gotten in the way. Um, I work a full-time job, as you know, and I can only film at the weekends, and lately it's just been too busy, so I haven't filmed in quite a while, so that's why this video is quite late, but I am excited to show you because there are a few new things, uh, lots of things that you have seen before that have just been revisited, so without further ado guys, let's get into February favourites. The first one, I just want to get the I told you so's out of the way, so I'm going to do this first. This one I have put off buying and trying for a really long time because it's a skincare item, it's an Elemis skincare item, but it's an extra step in my routine that I didn't feel like I needed and I said I would try this when it came into a kit that I wanted. That happened, I tried it, of course it's amazing, and it is the Elemis Pro Collagen Marine Moisture Essence. Now, essences, if you don't know, it's basically like a water, this is like a gel water, and you put like two, two or three drops in your hand. I just shake this into my hand, I'm not gonna do it now obviously, but like that, one, two, and then whatever's on your hand, you just pass it onto your skin like so, and you use it, I, I've been using it after cleansing, after toning, before serum and moisturizer. And the, the way that I've been taught how to apply skincare is, the thinner the item, that's the uh, earlier it goes on. So like a toner is actual water. This is like a gel water. Serum is like a thin moisturizer, then moisturizer, blah, blah, blah. Now, I have noticed a difference since using this and my skin is becoming a lot more plump. It feels a lot more moisturized and I really like it. Um, it's just a hydrating essence and I didn't realize that I needed it. Um, I know. Um, Keely from Elemis has told me many times that I need this. When I haven't tried it, she has been horrified that I haven't tried it. I'm sorry, at this point, guys, you, you're just used to Doris just gate crashing our videos. Um, and I, yeah, Keely, you were right. I'm sorry. I will never, ever um, doubt you again. I knew it'd be good, but it was just a case of it's quite expensive. And I get all of my LMS from QVC when things are on deals or they're cheaper or what have you. And I just wasn't prepared to pay the full price for something that I may or may not like. But obviously, I love it. It is great. Um, lesson learned. So if you get a chance to try it, give it a try. Sticking with skincare now, um, you guys know I have been a huge fan of the Elemis Pro Collagen Marine Cream for five years now, at least. This one is better for me now at my age. So this is the Elemis Pro Collagen Marine Cream Ultra Rich. It's phenomenal. Um, I got this in the latest Today Special Value because I've never tried it before and it's basically the marine cream just as it says slightly thicker it's a lot more moisturizing but it's not really really thick it doesn't sit on your skin it goes into your skin just like the marine cream does it's still really light however it just gives you an extra moisture boost, which at 45 now, I've noticed that I need. I don't know if it's just the weather, but my skin, I just feel like it needs a lot more moisture. Hence why the essence is really a great step for me now. But I do feel like I need to promote my skincare to the ultra rich. Let's get onto my favourite subject, makeup. A um, couple of new bits and I have I've really wanted some new makeup lately. Um, and I don't know why, I think because I, I love my makeup and I'm in a really good place with it, as we said, but I just sometimes you just really want to buy some new makeup. I saw this all over the internet and I am a sucker for a bit of marketing, but it is actually really, really good. This is the new L'Oreal Mascara in Panorama. Yeah, Panorama, Panorama, Panorama. And this is the uh, Extreme Black or just Black. Oh no, it's just Black. 
And do you know what, guys? This brush is just brilliant. I love a plastic brush. I really, really, really do. And the shape of this for my eyelashes, it just really gives a good coating. I mean, these are my lashes. I haven't done any B-roll of me applying it annoyingly. But um, you've seen me apply mascara before. It's nothing crazy. But I really like it. And it just really separates. It really lengthens. And it really does what it says on the tin. And it stays. I don't get any panda eyes. I'm a huge fan. I got this from Look Fantastic when it was on there. It just launched, so it was on special. It was like $8.99. I think it's $12.99 full price. But for a mascara, that's a really good deal. Um, L'Oreal, I like everything though now though. L'Oreal is getting more expensive. Like my um, True Match foundation is like $12.99. When I bought one, I bought my summer colour last summer. I feel like it was like $8.99 or $9.99. So everything is just like creeping up a little bit. But um, I really like that. If, and I'm sure there's deals somewhere, anywhere for some for mascara. So give it a go if you need a new mascara. I really liked it. Next up is another new thing for me. And um, this is a MAC paint pot in the colour Bougie. As you know, my beloved um, on and on bronze is discontinued. Well, the Maybelline colour tattoos are discontinued. I haven't tried MAC for ages. And i tell you something, when I went into MAC, I was really sad at how quiet it was. Like back in about 2012, if you went into MAC on a Saturday, I went to Westfield to get this. Um, well, not to get it, I was in Westfield and I, I wanted to get this. I'm sorry, let me go back to this. But look at the duochrome in this. I'm gonna put B-roll at the side of it on my hand. But honestly, this is stunning. And I use these as a primer for eyeshadows. These, with pretty much any Pat McGrath, it's a winner. Um, but yeah, I went into MAC on a Saturday mid-morning, like midday, and I was the only person in there. The staff were just standing around there. I had about three people ask me if I needed help. Back in the day, you were lucky to even speak to somebody because they were slapping makeup on people's faces and all this kind of stuff. It's really sad how MAC has kind of fallen off the radar in terms of popularity. And I think now because Westfield has a Sephora, people just don't go to MAC anymore. But MAC makeup is still up there for me as some of the best on the market. These paint pots are really good. They are expensive though. But bearing in mind my... Um, Maybelline colour tattoo was £4.99 and this was 22 quid. And I mean, it will last me forever and a day. That's why I, I went for it. But I have never seen anything like this. And MAC did a really cool eyeshadow back in the day. I don't know if they still do it, called Club. And it was a trio chrome that looked just like this. So I don't know if that's still available. I'm going to look it up and put it in if it is. Um, but if it is, honestly, get Club. I might get it because it was phenomenal. But yeah, this is Bougie by MAC. Um, I really, really love it. While we're on eyes, we've done the mascara, we've done the, the colour, the, the paint pot. Now we're on to eyeshadow. This palette I had to include because I've worn it for the last three to four weeks pretty much non-stop. It was my first purchase from Pat McGrath and it's still to this day, my favorite Pat McGrath palette. And you will see when I show you the state of it. This is the Utopian Dream palette by Pat McGrath. How stunning. You might be surprised when you think that's your favorite one, because as you know, I tend to go for the browns, the bronzes, the greens. This palette is my favorite Pat McGrath palette because it is so different. And I'm wearing this today. You would never think this is an appropriate daytime palette. But on my lids right now, I've got that in my transition all over the lid. I've got this in the, in the uh, crease here. And on my actual eyelid, I have got this amazing triochrome shade. And uh, let me just swatch that for you so you can see how stunning it is and when i say bougie is great with this it really really is i don't know if you can see the different colors it's more like a bronzy triochrome that like bronze gold it's got a bit of purple in there it's just stunning um this palette i've had now for like four three or four years and i don't wear it 
much and it's so annoying because when I go through my makeup weekly, when I wash my makeup brushes and I get all my palettes out, the look of it does put me off. And the other week I was like, no, you, you, this, was, this was your favorite. You wore this nonstop for ages, get it out again. And as soon as I get it out again, and as soon as I start applying it, I'm like, oh my God, it's amazing. And this transition shade, these colors look quite scary. If you take away these, this is quite a neutral palette ish but the astral shades and these are like the real pop of you know pigment and like real shimmer and real like power shades um oh they're just so different to the other palettes that i have like you know the bronze seduction sublime and all those ones they're really neutral really lovely but something about this palette it's just artistically it's insane if you looked at it like that you'd think it wouldn't really go together but any combination you make with this palette it's just magic pat mcgrath she knows what she's doing um but if you ever get a chance to pick up utopian dream honestly trust me i think it would suit any skin tone any any eye color it's just amazing but yeah I know I mentioned this one like two months ago, maybe less. I don't remember when I mentioned this, my last favourites. I'm really sorry. But I haven't stopped using it. And it is the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation to the point where I think this is probably nearly running out because I'm not sure if the, I think the packaging is actually coloured, the colour of the foundation. I don't think that's the foundation. Anyway, because when I'm pushing, when I'm pumping it now, it's just getting less and less and less. Um, and it's starting to spit when you do it. But I use the shade six neutral. This foundation, well, I'm look I'm wearing it today. It's so beautiful. It's so serum, but it's quite thick. It's like a CC cream in its texture but when you start to blend it it just blurs everything but you can still see your skin i don't know what weird mystical witchcraft is in this because i know that charlotte tilbury is a bit mystical um but whatever the hell is in this she literally bottled it it's magic for your skin and it says for your best healthy looking skin day every day yeah it's a no-brainer for me. This could be one of my new favourite foundations ever. And I was never a Charlotte Tilbury girl. You know me. I, I did slag off Charlotte Tilbury a lot, mainly because everything in her collections are pink. I still don't go for her eyeshadow palettes and things like that or face stuff in general. But this foundation is worth the hype. Um, I When I go to Selfridges next week, I'll be picking up another one because this is nearly out. I should have picked one up today in Westfield, but never mind. Um, anywho, yes, this is worth the hype. If you get an opportunity to try it or if they're ever on sale or see a deal, honestly, grab it. Her website as well is amazing for skin matching. I matched myself on her website and this is the shade that I selected and it's bang on my shade. Definitely, definitely, definitely worth the hype. Last up for products is a weird one. This is Trip um, and this is the 1000 milligram CBD oil in the flavour Orange Blossom and Chamomile. This is, I, I bought this to try because, um, like I say, lately things have been a bit crazy. I haven't been sleeping very well. Like, I... I go to sleep easily, but if I wake up and my brain starts working, game over. I cannot get back to sleep again. And this stuff is meant to be good for anxiety. It's meant to be good for sleep deprivation, all those kind of things. It's meant to just basically relax you. Um, I take one pipette of this, and this is the strong one. So if you want to try this, maybe try the lesser one. I'll explain what happened. I did buy the lesser one, but anyway. Um, and you basically, I just took the whole pipette under your tongue 
two hours before you go to bed, depending on when you use it. You can use it any time of the day or night. If you feel anxious, you can take it and it pretty much starts to work immediately. But if you want to sleep, um, I take this two hours before I go to bed and um, I am guilty as a lot of us probably are of scrolling before bed. I watch TikTok before bed, that's my TikTok time. And I don't find it stressful. I don't find it particularly makes my brain work, but I'm of that sort of person that there's always 15 different things going on up here. I'm always thinking about tomorrow, the day after, have I set my alarm? What food am I gonna make? Nothing crazy, nothing too stressful, but just general life crap. And this stuff has really, really helped me. I don't know if I'm just overtired or if it's just like a somatic, I don't know what it is, but I have been sleeping better when I use this. I don't use it every night, because to be honest, I don't remember every night, but when I remember, I see it at my bedside, I'm like, ah, I'm gonna try that. And they also have drinks. So if you want to go out and you don't want to drink alcohol, they have trip drinks. It's like CBD infused cordials, like like sparkling water infused with CBD oil, which I'm kind of down for. Um, so yeah, I'm. So I, I bought the 300 milligram one. I bought it online, and, and when I went to collect it, it was the strong one. It was the thousand milligram. And there's quite a considerable price difference. So I didn't say anything. <laughs> I just thought, okay, I'll just use less. And um, to be honest, it's, I don't know if I'm just used to, you know, uh, chemicals or whatever, I don't know, but this didn't really have an effect on me that I noticed. Like I didn't take it and just fall asleep, but immediately I did feel a bit more relaxed. And I felt like when I went to bed, I just slept like a log. Um, so yeah, I highly recommend that. Um, my next favourite is a TV show and I just want to, people ask me all the time what I'm watching or I put things on my Instagram, if you follow me on Instagram um, you'll see me talking about TV shows and things, but Love is Blind series 6 has been quite the emotional roller coaster for everybody involved. If you're not a fan of reality TV this won't interest you at all, I doubt, but basically the premise of the show is I can't remember how many people are on it, but let's say there's a group of guys and a group of girls and they're all looking for their soulmate and they have dates, but in pods behind a wall, so they don't see each other. They have notepads and they talk for, I think each date is like an hour. And then um, they kind of whittle down their favorites over the course of the show and basically, the way that they get to the next level, if you like, is somebody has to propose and if marriage, and if they say yes, then they get to see each other in the flesh. Then at that point, they have the opportunity to propose again, uh, if they're still interested, and they do. Then the show really starts. They go on holiday together, they live together, um, they meet each other's families, and the end of the show is the wedding. And at, on their wedding day, they can say yes or no. So they basically have to fast track an entire relationship that might potentially be like, let's say five years. If you get married, it's usually between like three and five years in like four or five weeks. But the interesting thing is when they're on the holiday, they bring in all the other people. So obviously they don't just talk to one person, they talk to loads of people. So the interesting thing is they see who they, turned down or who they had interest in but they chose somebody else or whatever um and it yeah it gets quite spicy and now i am just waiting for the weddings um which at this point i think when you see this they would have been and gone so um yeah i'm very excited but if you love that kind of trash tv honestly give it a go there's six seasons on netflix and just binge they're just amazing but yeah, that is it for my February favourites. Um, and again, I'm sorry it's a bit late, but um, better late than never. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video and um, subscribe below, give it a like. It really helps with the algorithm and things. And I will see you next week for another new video. Take care, guys.